forecast. Well, good morning. After a foggy start to our day today, the fog is beginning or just completely burning off in some spots. It's really dependent on location because in just a few areas right now, it's pretty isolated, but the fog is being pretty stubborn. And here in South Williamsport, one of those areas we're talking about, most of us have lost the fog and enjoying plenty of sunshine right now, but with visibility, you can actually see it's still lingering in Williamsport down to three miles Though we have seen some improvements since earlier this morning. Elsewhere, everything really does look okay, but the fog is delaying the warm up because the sun's energy goes more into burning off the fog than it does actually warming up the surface. So what's happening right now, we're stuck in the 50s in Williamsport and surrounded by 60s and even near 70. Pottsville 61, Sealands Grove where it's 66, and Hazleton right near 70. Now, once we get rid of the last of the fog in Williamsport, we'll catch up with the sunshine helping things out and a few more clouds mixing in today. But for the most part, we're keeping a good amount of sunshine. There's a cold front, another storm system back in the Midwest. That'll push in tonight through tomorrow. That's going to bring us some rain. Then behind all of that, is when we'll see that more seasonal cool down as we end this week and go into our weekend. But any afternoon plans that we may have, everything looks fantastic. We're going to keep the sunshine for a good amount of the day late today, overnight tonight. That's when the clouds really begin to build back in. We'll end up right around the 70 mark and it stays dry really through a good amount of tonight. One or two showers try to sneak in early tomorrow morning, but the bulk of that rain tomorrow is late morning and right in the middle of our day. Nice little round of showers that we could really use in our area. And just behind this front, that's when things will get much more November like. And by the way, there'll be a lingering shower Thursday morning, but all of that will push out of here. High pressure can build in late Thursday. Give us a little clearing Thursday into Friday. We do keep the sunshine, but this cold front comes through Friday afternoon. There's not enough moisture in the atmosphere for this to fire off any showers. It'll just mix in a few more clouds. Then behind this front, a second shot of cooler air comes in just in time for the weekend. As far as the rain totals are concerned, we're expecting around half an inch to an inch or two in some spots. This is manageable. This is not expected to be a flooding issue. The ground is so dry, it can definitely handle all of this. So a much needed rain across our area. We're near 70 for the high today. Clouds and sunshine, it's still warm, but it's not going to be for long. Much more seasonal as we end this week following the rain. 68 tomorrow, have the umbrella handy for Veterans Day. Thursday, we'll have showers in the morning, dry out in the afternoon. Try to get some late day sun at 60. Friday, clouds and sun, we're also hanging out right near 60. Plenty of sunshine Saturday, a very nice fall afternoon. We're in the 50s, so just throw on the sweatshirt, we'll be good. Sunday and Monday, showers return and we're staying in the 50s. And we can always download the Eyewitness Weather app to get our latest 